Minimalization bias in trading. We've discussed before the nature of cognitive trading biases. And cognitive biases are natural inbuilt responses that don't serve you well in the heat of the action when entering or exiting trades and take over from your written and planned trading system and become the major influence on your market behavior as you're about to push the button. These have developed over time and usually outside of a trading context, but are exaggerated within this because of the intensity of action that trading creates. One of these is minimalization bias. And this is most commonly seen when we see a sharp move on a chart, get very excited about it and hence just jump on in there on the basis of one price move within a candle. The problem is with minimalization bias, investors are basing their decisions on small amounts and usually incomplete information. It's usually seen at entry, but it can be exit as well. And this bias often leads to premature action before a full set of signals are confirmed. In severe cases, it may result in trying to bottom pick or top pick for short trades with entry. And with exit, we may see action, i.e. exit, without substantial evidence of a weakening price. And we see often retracements used as exits rather than clear reversal signs. This obviously will cap profit, limiting the potential of any specific trade in which this happens. Common examples of minimalization bias in action include when you're trading with low trading volumes, not keeping an eye on relevant economic data releases, and attempting to predict the next move, often seen when acting on immature candles or bars, or before confirmation of a breakthrough a key price point. So for example, not waiting until we have a price close above a resistance level before we subsequently jump in and trade that. As with any bias, the initial goal is awareness. If this resonates with you, then you can start to own it and subsequently put the things in place to reduce its incidence. One of the most powerful things you can do is to look at times when you've entered the market historically, or in the case of exiting, prior to your plan indicating you should take action and compare the results of that versus the results of times when you actually followed your trading plan. This is one of several cognitive biases described in the behavioral finance literature and we'll cover others in future sessions.